Hi, Paul Moyer, former player, coach, and current analyst with the Seahawks radio broadcast. In this film session, powered by Microsoft Surface, we'll be breaking down the Seahawks' fourth round draft pick, Trey Brown. After the 2020 season with the Seahawks and really going into the draft of 2021, one of the question marks was the Seahawks secondary. And the Seahawks addressed that again in the fourth round by picking Trey Brown out of Oklahoma. And what we're going to see over the next few clips are a common theme. One, he's incredibly quick. He's incredibly explosive and he has a great feel for pattern recognition and reading the quarterback. I, I'm going to really close it by this. He's a playmaker, and you're going to see that over and over again. So let's look at the first clip. Uh, what you're going to see him is he's up and press, and that's where he's most comfortable. He mostly played the left corner last year for Oklahoma. First thing you'll see here is he's very patient. He waits for the receiver to make a move, and the Seahawks like that. Let's force them outside. We don't want to get beat on the inside. And as we, we roll this tape back just a little bit, this is the part that's most impressive. Watch how he closes and gets into the body. He turns, locates the football. He adjusts better than the wide receiver. Man, the wide receiver didn't even make an attempt for it. Huge play, makes a lot of interceptions. This is what you see, explosiveness. He has catch up speed, great job of getting into the body of the receiver. And most importantly, he has the ability to find the football and make the play. Next clip, and, and this is really impressive. This is hard to teach. You really don't coach this. This is just natural. So what I mean by that is he, he's up in press right now. You don't know if he's going to be man-to-man, -man, bump and run. You don't know if he's going to be in a cover two and try to jam the receiver. And what he does at the last second is you'll find is he actually runs out like he's playing a cover three or a deep third. So go ahead and roll this tape. You can see he's up and bump right now. You don't know what he is. He comes out soft. He's holding off the corner route, and he has the explosiveness to read the quarterback and make the interception on the sideline. That's a difficult play. It's, it's one that's hard to teach because you, you have to hold the deep one. You've got to be underneath that corner route when it's a cover two coverage, and that's what it ended up being. And you see this over and over. There's a lot of plays he does like this. Really good at disguising, really good at holding off the, the most vulnerable pass, and ultimately, he makes the big play. And this next clip, you're, you're going to find his playmaking ability and the feel for how he holds routes off and reads the quarterback. So on this play, you're going to see Trey Brown actually slide inside the wide receiver, probably, I'm guessing, looking for deep crossing routes, something they had seen on film. Now let's let this play develop and watch how he holds off not just the deep flag route by the seven yard line, but he also helps on the fade route from the safety. You really misplays this. And he plays in between, but watch how he reads the quarterback and makes this play. This is very impressive. And while I would say it's not a great throw, he plays this ball better than the receiver. And this is what you see over and over. It's a common thing. He makes plays. He's a really good football player. He's got to work on some techniques. They're going to get that down. But you can't teach great quickness. You can't teach guys who have a great feel for the pattern recognition. And something you love from a defensive back coach, defensive coordinator, is a guy who knows how to play the football in the air. On this play, the quarterback's gonna scramble out to his right, and Trey Brown is gonna, he's gonna sit back in his zone, which you, you need to do. There, there's a lot of young players who will actually attack the quarterback when he scrambles, and there's no one out there who's contained him. And what happens is they end up throwing the ball to a receiver over his head. He does such a great job of getting depth, holding off any pass patterns behind him, and having really just great instincts on when to attack the quarterback. And you'll see it, he attacks it as soon as the quarterback starts to put the ball down to run. And so again, why don't we roll this? This is a really good job. Watch him, he sits back, he sits back, patient, patient, holds off that throw, comes up and makes an open field tackle. You know, are there more impressive plays? Yeah, maybe, but again, common theme again, playmaker, great awareness, great instincts. Trey Brown's not the tallest guy in the world. He is physical. He, he does a good job of getting his hands both on you know, the wide receivers, but he, he can play a tight end or a, or a bigger six foot four wide receiver. So we'll go ahead and roll this tape. This is against UCLA, I believe the opener of last year. You're going to see him pop in right there. He, he knocks this big tight end down. Not a great throw, but again, his closing speed to catch up to the receiver. 
is something you can't teach. What we get with Trey Brown that's unique, the Seahawks may for the first time move corners around depending on where the receivers are. And so we can match it with small, quick guys. With crossing routes, we can line up outside with taller guys that, you know, like Julio Jones, uh, when we play Tennessee, you know, with good matchups. I think it's gonna give the Seahawks a lot of different opportunities and what they wanna do from a matchup standpoint. This is another episode of the film session powered by Microsoft Surface. I'm Paul Moyer. Thanks for watching.